वेलकम अगेन टू बरेड एकेडमी डियर स्टूडेंट्स सो दिस इज स्टैंडर्ड सिक्स एंड दिस इज जियोग्राफी चैप्टर थ्री चैप्टर थ्री दिट इज दिस इज प्लानेटरी मोशन रोटेशन एंड ए रिवेनेशन ओके नाउ कम टू योर क्वेश्चन आंसर सेशन यू कैन फाइंड योर ऑल क्वेश्चन आंसर इन दिस वीडियो सो लेट्स गो एंड यू कैन पॉज दिस वीडियो एंड राइट योर आंसर ओके सो लेट्स गो टू द क्वेश्चन आंसर so this is your first multiple choice question so the earth is said to be in perihelion that is closest to the sun on 3 january at at a distance of 147.3 million kilometer then question 2 days and nights are of equal duration on 3 days that is equinoxes okay <clears throat> then next question is the time of the day just before sunrise is known as dawn then question 4 the shortest day in the southern hemisphere is 21 june next is the leap a leap year has 366 day the length of a day and night are same during equinoxes the earth has two motions one is rotation another is revolution question number 4 summer in the northern hemisphere is known as summer solstice the autumn in the southern hemisphere is known as spring equinox in the northern hemisphere then come to the <clears throat> question answer section this will be written in your copy actually in my copy you can pause this video and write in your copy okay so what is a leap year a year consisting of 366 days is known as a leap year the next question is define a rotation and a revolution rotation what and the spinning of the earth around its imaginary axis is called a rotation then revolution the motion of the earth around the sun is called revolution <clears throat> then next question is what is an equinox when day and night are equal duration all over the latitudes on the earth the phenomenon is called as equinox there are two equinoxes in a year first is first a is spring equinox equinox and autumn equinox <clears throat> then question number 4 mention any two effects of inclination and rotation first is two effects of inclination and rotation is so causes of day and night sunrise and sunsets then question number 5 on which date the earth is farthest from the farthest from the sun on 4 july the earth is farthest farthest from the sun and the position is called aphelion then next d short answer type questions so explain the circle of illumination illumination and its effect also briefly mention the parts of the of the day the circle which divides the earth into day and night have has is known as the circle of illumination it affects the length of days and nights in both hemispheres so part of a day are dawn midday dusk night and midnight then question number 2 why are days longer in summer as compared to the nights explain and mention the effect as well okay then first is the days are longer in summer as compared to the nights because when one of the hemispheres is inclined towards the sun the line of illumination divides the latitude of the inclined hemisphere in such a way that the bigger part of the latitudes are facing the sun for the longest time as a result of which the 
temperature gain is more than the temperature loss of the surface of the inclined hemisphere thus the season become warmer and is called as summer season the next question is question number 3 why does the northern hemisphere experiences winter in december explain and give reason the northern hemisphere experiences in a winter in december because first point is the earth is inclined away from the sun then second point the sun rays fall slanting on the northern hemisphere then third point the nights are longer than the days during this time then question number 4 <coughs> If the earth's axis was perpendicular to its orbital orbital plane what impact would it have on the duration of days and nights if the earth axis was perpendicular to its orbital plane the length of the days and nights would have been equal and there would have been one season throughout throughout okay and long answer type question so differentiate between the summer and winter solstices okay then next this is distinction between summer and winter so first is summer solstice winter solstice it is on 21 june and it is on 22 december on this day the north north pole is inclined towards the sun while south pole is turned away from it second point winter solstice on this day the south pole is inclined towards the sun while the north pole is turned away from it then question point 3 this is the sun shines vertically on the tropic of cancer then the sun shines vertically on the tropic of capricorn okay then question number 2 this is a long answer type question you can pause this video and write your answer okay don't forget to subscribe and share and like my channel because of your interest uh, give me the energy for making more videos like this so don't forget to subscribe and uh, must comment how you uh, uh how this video is okay finally you just give the comment okay next come to this uh, answer session okay the sun rays falls slanting on the poles as a result they receive less sunlight the pole which is inclined towards the sun receives receives slanting rays for almost 24 hour as they see sun in horizon this phenomenon continues for 6 months on the inclined pole on the other hand the pole that is inclined away from the sun does not receive any sun rays and remain dark for almost 6 months so this is it so here is the end and uh, i'm already saying you don't uh, forget to subscribe like and share my channel then commenting me for the next video okay i'll coming soon for your next video okay thank you